Hi guys, and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna go through the new Windows 11 25H2 installation process. This is basically the clean install method. When you create a bootable USB drive or something like that, and you boot up and do a clean install of Windows 11 25H2. In this video, we're gonna go through the whole process and we're gonna see the changes that are made by Microsoft in this version that is supposed to be released next month in the main release for Windows 11. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're going to have to select the language settings. I'm going to leave everything as English and English. Click on next. The keyboard settings, I'm going to leave them as US. Click on next. I'm going to select install Windows 11 and then I'm going to select I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings. Click on next. And here I'm going to click on I don't have a product key because you can always insert your license after you install Windows. Microsoft is now getting a few things ready. We're going to accept the license terms and then we're gonna be able to set up our disk management from here I'm just gonna create a single partition select the unallocated space create partition and then insert here or leave the whole space as default click on apply and the partition will be created alongside with a few system partitions uh, for example MSR reserved and a system partition we're gonna select the main partition which is about 80 gigabytes and then click on next now we are reminded of all the settings basically a short recap install Windows 11 Pro and then keep nothing. Then all we have to do is to click on install and then the Windows 11 installation process will proceed and uh, this is basically part of the newest changes that Microsoft has applied since Windows 11 25H2 and overall the installation process should be pretty similar but in Windows 11 25H2 you will notice certain differences because Microsoft has added a few other things here and there especially in the second part of the installation process in the OB section. So we're just gonna wait for this process to be finished and then we're gonna continue with the rest of the installation. The next step is this black screen that will appear with installing Windows. Please keep your computer on and your computer may restart a few times. Again, wait out this process and we should be getting into the new OB section or the out of the box experience, which is the second part of the installation process. And now after a restart, we're back into the OB section. We're going to select United States again. Click on yes. Is this the right keyboard layout or input method? Again, US. Click on yes and skip adding a second keyboard keyboard layout. Right now the OOB section is checking for updates. It's going to do this a few times during the installation process. Right now we're going to have to name our device. I'm going to insert here ME and then click on next and then we have to wait just a moment. A quick restart will happen again and then we are yet again in the OOB section where we're going to select setup for personal use when we're going to be asked how would you like to set up this device. Click on next. Yet again checking for Windows updates and soon enough we're going to have to log in to our Microsoft account. Unlock your Microsoft experience click on sign in and here we're gonna have to log into our Microsoft account next step would be to create a pin click on create pin and then insert a pin here click on ok this is pretty much the same as with Windows 11 24 h2 no major changes and from here I'm just gonna uncheck tailored experiences inking and typing and I'm gonna leave everything as is click on accept now we're gonna see this screen getting things ready for you for those of you wondering I'm using a build from the dev channel 26200.57 6 1. This is basically a very recent 25H2 build. Now we have this screen where we can customize our experience. I'm just going to click on skip, but based on whatever you select there, we're going to have different experiences whenever you open up your computer for the first time. We're going to skip using our mobile device on our PC. Basically, you can do the phone link connection right from the setup, but you can always do this after that. So I'm just going to skip this. Also, I'm going to skip this. I don't want to back up my photos with Outlook. I'm not going to access my recent browsing data with Microsoft Edge. Basically, everything that you see here, you can always do after the installation process. Don't waste your time here. I'm going to decline Microsoft 365 and also decline the cloud storage with Microsoft 365. Basically, there are three different steps where Microsoft is asking you to use Microsoft 365. For example, set up email in Outlook for Windows. I'm just going to uncheck this and then click on next. We now have the PC Game Pass. Keep for now. As you can see, there are a lot of ads, a lot of payments that you would be able to do if you were to accept those. But basically, this is the whole installation process. What I have to tell you is that the installation process can differ from people to people. For example, you can use a Microsoft account that has recent backups that were saved. You're going to be asked to maybe use a recent backup and restore some of your settings and so on. But Microsoft is always testing things, always adding new things. And this is basically the Windows 11 25H2 installation process as we have it now. As you saw, pretty similar with what we're used to in Windows 11 25H2. Of course, right now, the next steps 
steps would be to install the drivers, the necessary software, but everyone can do that after they successfully install Windows 11 25H2. So this was the video for today, the new Windows 11 25H2 installation process. For more information, you can always check out the article below with a step-by-step -step tutorial written down or official Microsoft resources. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.